My name is Art Scrimo, and I'm one of the product managers on the DCNM product uh, within Cisco that's focused on the SAN features and functionality. Today we're going to be doing a quick overview of topology in the new, newly released uh, DCNM 10. So I'm at the admin page where we start um, uh, once we've uh, logged into DCNM. I'm going to go over and select topology. A topology is now a, a high, uh, a top level menu item uh, within DCNM. And uh, as you can see, there's a host of others, but today we're going to be focused in on topology. So at, at a high level here, um, as you come into the topology, there's some navigation items that I should uh, probably explain. So one is we've got a uh, search up in the left hand corner here. Uh, we can search on specific items if we want to, or we can just do general searching. Uh, we can look for IPs or models or serial numbers or roles. Uh, we can look at vSANs, uh, VLANs, segment ID, host, MAC address, those types of things. So uh, quite a bit of search function functionality that works specifically on the topology items. Uh, down below here, we've got some navigation controls. So zoom in. Uh, zoom out, reposition, uh, we've got a save function, so if you build yourself a custom saved layout, you can. You can go to a force directed as one of the uh, potential items. You can do hierarchical. Um, you can drag this one right here if you'd like to, and then save it. Uh, and then if you go back to hierarchical now, it'll reposition, and if you go back to your save layout, it'll reposition it. So that's the lower left or right left hand uh, corner. On the on the right hand corner on the bottom is uh, some of the UI controls. So this gives you information about whether links are critical, warning, healthy, or unknown. Uh, UI controls are toggled here. OTV is toggled uh, if you have an overlay set, which I do not. Uh, we can show links. Right now I have all turned on. We can look at just errors only. We can toggle links off altogether. We can toggle effects if you have effects inside your environment, and we can toggle switch health. So if you don't want to see the different colors of the switches um, based on their health score, uh, you can toggle that on and off. I can also refresh the screen at any time just by clicking the refresh icon, it'll redraw the same screen. So we're going to focus in on this fabric that you see here. So I'm going to go select it from the scope. So now when we select it from the scope, uh, we can see that layout uh, defaults to um, that was force directed, uh, but now we can go to hierarchical. So you can see we've got some switches here on top, we've got some at the bottom, and even lower than that. As you can see, there's a bunch of different colors and icons here that indicate, uh, like I said earlier, the, the health score of the switch itself, uh, and the links is status is whether it's healthy or critical. Uh, yellow would be unknown if any of the links, or uh, gray would be unknown, or yellow would be warning if there were any warnings on those links. So this covers the basic topology. Now we can dive a little bit deeper into uh, the functionality within topology. So we'll start with switches. So in this case, I've got a 9710 here. Um, and if I hover over any of these devices, you can see that the descriptions change. So the name of the switch has changed to, in this case, EMC 9710-2. We've got IP address and the switch model. Uh, I can do that on any of these switches and I can get some information about them. So if I want to get more information about this switch, I can double click on it in the interface and that will, on the right, provide a pop out with some more information. So in this case, uh, this switch is set as a core switch in the topology. Uh, we could change that if it wasn't correct. We can make it an edge. We can make it access or aggregation. Um, we can we can do a host of different things uh, to set where it would draw in the topology. Additionally, there's some summary information here: status, serial number, WWPN, CPU memory. Uh, there's the health score, 
and tags. So you can build custom tags for your switches. So if, for instance, you know some of your switches are in a specific pod or in a specific data center, you could come in here and tag it, and then you could use your search function to find it if you wanted to. But if I wanted to get more information about this 9710 here, I could uh, show more details. And when this is right now going in and grabbing a bunch of data out of the database and off the switch, so it takes just a second. Uh, there's some information about the chassis having a non-operational status uh, that's probably impacting our health score here. We've got some information about the system. So we've got uptime, uh, we've got serial numbers and versions and all kinds of different information here. Uh, we've got licenses that you can check out. We've got your features that are enabled. Uh, and also we've got the ability to see port capacity. Um, uh, right now there's eight of 48 ports used. This is a QA environment that I'm showing. So uh, it's not gonna be representative of our production environment. But now I can go to the interfaces tab and now I can see all of the interfaces that are uh, currently on this switch, I could uh, I could refresh this at any time and get a refreshed a refresh list if I wanted to. I can select one of these. We'll see if they have any data on them. Uh, they do. Perfect. So this is 24-hour traffic of uh, FC7/15. Uh, we could change the charting approach here. We could go to a stacked area chart if we wanted to. Uh, we could. I'll just go back to the line chart. We've got a lot of different options in there. Uh, we can zoom to a certain area. So say I want to see what this is. We can zoom into that area and this will allow us to zoom back out. Uh, we can zoom all the way in if we want to. And then we can zoom all the way back out. So that's uh, so this is information about just one interface on one switch. However, if we wanted to see uh, an interface on potentially another switch at the same time, we could do that. In this case, I'm picking 9710-1 this time. I want to see more information, uh, so I go to the uh, show more details here. And when the information or the tabs come up, I can select the interfaces tab. Uh, looks like it's already selected. And I can click on one of these other interfaces and I can see them side by side on the chart. As you can see, it's different information, it's a different interface. Uh, and I can do all the same zoom functionalities as well. Uh, and uh, so I can close this and I can go back to uh, just my initial view of each of the switches. And then I can close these. Uh, if I want to. So there's quite a bit of information that you have access to directly from the topology, which is a great feature. Uh, it makes it so that you don't have to go through all the menus and all the switches and all of those things and select um, the device that you want to look at. You can do it straight from the topology within context, uh, which is quite useful. Additionally, in this version of DCNM, which is DCNM 10, we are very focused in on providing link information as well, because we feel obviously that's pretty relevant. Uh, to anybody managing their infrastructure. I can zoom in a little bit, and if I wanted to get some more detail here, I could select one of these interfaces. Maybe I will select that one by double clicking on it. Now I can see that interface. I can see where it's connected from and to. I can see the speed of it. I can see the summary, status, what vSANs are currently trunked on it. I can see the uh, performance, 24 hour performance. I can see both transmit and receive. I can zoom in on this if I would like to. Um, I can do all kinds of different things here, but I can also look at another interface side by side. So if I go back to this switch, I'm going to select a different interface. Um, I can reposition this window and I could select yet another interface and I could reposition this window and select yet another interface. So now I can see all four of those interfaces for that switch that are <clears throat> that are individual and I can look at them side by side. I can continue to expand until essentially I run out of page space uh, in order to do it. So I can see we've got some 40 gig in here, um, FCOE connected. Uh, we've got some eight gig connection, some 16 gig. All of these are healthy uh, based on their color. Their status is healthy. So I can close some of these down uh, as, I, as I've done reviewed them. So I can see a lot of information on the screen all in one place. 
Uh, if I look at this VFC, I can see that it's a red status. There's status is trunks not fully active. Um, so this is some type of VFC that is having some problem that you know somebody would need to investigate. This is a QA infrastructure, so uh, it's pretty normal to have links in weird states as we're always testing different things and different scenarios. I can reposition the map direct straight away. I can close this back down. I could have a switch and a link up at the same time. Um, so let's do this one. So I can have a switch now and a link right beside it. And then I can show more details as well. So we've created a very flexible infrastructure to try to find as much information as we can contextually within the topology map. We feel this is a great value within DCNM. And uh, it's one of the great enhancements that we have as part of the release of DCNM 10. Um, and uh, we're, we're really excited about the functionality provided uh, within. If you have any questions about DCNM, uh, please go to Cisco's website, which is www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash DCNM. Once again, thank you for tuning in.